This is actually our new commuter bag, and it's a uh, it's our power commuter bag. So as you can see, um, our model is going to unzip it, and there's a battery in here. It's a 5,000 milliampere battery. Eight. I'm sorry. Eight. Eight thousand. Five thousand. Eight thousand. Ten thousand. No, it's there's eight. a milliamp hours attached to the battery. It's it's an eight thousand milliampere battery. And it has a captive uh, cord system here. So the cable can just easily connect to your switch and then kind of go right back into the battery. So you don't have cables everywhere. You also have some extra ports here. There's a micro USB and a USB slot there. So the bag itself, um, you have this battery, but there's also some really great um, interior. It's very plush, the fabric, and it has plenty of cartridge slots. It also has a cable system so that you can manage any sort of cables you might be taking with you. And you get an extra mesh pocket there. So the other side, it also has this plush interior, but it actually has some really cool padding. And it's strategically placed so that it protects the screen even more from, uh, from bumps and like it drops and things like that. Very cool. Yeah, so that's the new uh, commuter power bag. And what's the price? And when can we get it? This one's $69.99. It's $69.99. For the one with the battery. $69.99 for the battery. And then it's a holiday. It'll be out. Holiday 2018. So we'll start here at the Falcon. So right. this is actually a universal controller. And it's meant for Windows PC and Android based phones. So um, you can see that it has the offset joysticks. And then it also has a set of back paddles that could be fully customizable and actually has switches along the bottom that you could just uh, customize it right on the go. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. And most of the stuff, by the way, will be out holiday. So just like holiday 2018. Yeah, 2018. So this is the power shield for Switch. So this is actually a hard case. It has ergonomic grips built into the back. And on this, on this front side, it actually has a battery built in. It comes with its own dock, so you can charge it when you need to. But it's a kind of convenient protective system shield, if you will, for your switch. Do we have a price for this one yet? Yeah, we do actually have a price for that one. It's $59.99. That's uh, really quite a value, actually. It, You're getting it, a whole dock. And, yeah. I mean, the dock by itself is Nintendo sells it for $50. So. Yeah. Well, actually, that's not. It, you can't dock it to your TV, though. Like, that's just the dock to um, charge well, just it. just for charging. Like, yeah, just for charging. You know, I mean, I don't need to hook up the TV. I just but, need to charge it. But speaking of connecting to your TV. Uh-oh, hey, we got a segue. Oh, we got a segue. It's the TV links. And I'm actually really excited about this. The price is to be determined right now, but this is really cool because instead of carrying a uh, bulky dock, or you know there's been docks that have been in the news for terrible like problems, this is just a cable. Wow. And it has an HDMI port and a Type-C. That's it. And that's it. You connect it to your TV, you're ready to go. You can play your Switch on TV. Is that also Holiday 19 we're looking at there? It is. Yeah, so that one I'm actually really excited about because it's really cool. So um, it should be really great. The commuter bag, this is actually the non-powered bag. Both of them will come in both colors, but this is just a regular one. This is kind of, you know, there's a lot of licensed bags out there, but if you want something a little bit more sleek and maybe more grown up, this if you good. will, yeah, this is kind of what you want. It does have that same plush interior and all that, so. But no Zelda on the outside. No Zelda on the outside. You want out yourself. Yeah. Now right. I see we have an Xbox controller with some grips. We do. So, these are our grips. So, this is actually one of our best selling items. It's called the Quick Shot. And what it does is you can, there's a little uh, orange tool there, and you can pop off the sides and click them onto your existing controller. So it makes it, for 20 bucks, it makes it almost like the Elite. It gives you the grips and a trigger lock system. So you basically, you can shoot faster in games. And it's super easy to turn off if there's some games that don't allow you to do trigger locks, and you just flip the switch. Really super convenient. We've gotten some really great feedback, and it is our number one product. Number one seller. Yes. So this is the power stand. This is actually new for E3. So this is a, a dual charging dock for your PS4 controllers. We also have one over there for Xbox. Um, the Xbox One does come with a, a couple extra batteries to go in the back of your controller as well. So this just hooks up through like a standard power cable and it plugs it in the back and then you've got two controllers. You can yep. It looks pretty cool. It looks nice to have on your you know, TV stand. Exactly. So now we come over here to some more Switch accessories. Okay, so tell me about this, because this is cool. This is really cool. So I'm a wired gamer, I don't know about you. Same. But okay, so this one never came with an Ethernet port. So we created it. So basically what happens is this plugs directly in, 
to the USB, and there you have your Ethernet port. There's little grills on the side so that the airflow can continue to move through and your system doesn't overheat because it does come over a vent, so it, it doesn't block the airflow or anything. And this is a, a Switch First product, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There's nobody else that makes anything like this. Yeah, and there is one, that, but it hangs out of the dock and it's white. This one is discreetly in the back of your dock, so that it, yeah, so it looks much better. And this is the Tetra Power. You can charge four Joy-Cons simultaneously. And, What's written on the tip? and it just looks pretty cool, if you ask me. I have one at home. Those are actually my, my yellow Joy-Cons right there. Very modeling nice. for Very us nice. right now. Um, we have a new power stand over there. Well, it's got a left. Yeah, so um, this actually charges a Pro Controller and two Joy-Cons at the same time. That's very cool. Yeah, so there's not really a lot of Pro Controller charging options out there. So we wanted to create one and give you a little extra with your two Joy-Cons. And then here's something I'm actually very interested in, this power plate, right? Ah, uh, the power plate. This guy. Yeah. I don't even else on it. Exactly. You've got it. So you get a Type-C to Type-C. So you can plug it in on the go. You can also put your controllers on the side of it. And a lot of people have told us that um, it feels like a really great controller layout um, because it kind of gives you the width that you need for it to feel like an actual controller. So some people even just use the power plate as like a, a nice controller layout to, while it charges their Joy-Cons. That's very cool. Yeah. All right. And that's so this is our, our newest headset. This is our first headset, actually. It's called the Ares. And we went with that name for a few reasons because Ares obviously means God of War. And it's also very aerated. So when literally aerated. Literally aerated. So when you're getting when you're gaming with over your headsets, you get hot. Your ears get hot. So these you can actually switch open and air will flow through. So it keeps you cool while gaming. So how does that affect the sound stage? Just um, so the sound will be a little bit more open at that point, but when it's closed. There's 50 millimeter drivers, which are actually inadvertently invent headset that goes from closed back to open back. Yes, we did. <laughs> what? So, and then you could actually throw the sound to one side if you want, and leave one open. So, you, if you've got somebody there hanging out with you, you can talk to them and hear them. Um, you can. It's pretty customizable. You can move the mic from one side to the other. Put some 150 dollar drivers in these and sell them to high end audio people. <laughs> They'll eat them alive. And then if you'll see the um, the pieces sitting there around it, those are actually to kind of customize them to your own head shape so that they're actually comfortable. Very cool. So there's a lot of cool things going on with this one, and it's very different. And, you know, it's got a lot going on. It's, it's I can't wait for this, actually, because I'm looking for a new headset, so I want this one. Yeah, I, I only really, I don't, well, gaming don't headsets are really cold. generally bad. So they are, so. It sounds not bad. Yeah, so we're trying to make it totally different.